For this grand tour, I'm heading to the Lochs of the Clyde. Long before the US submarines made the loch a little less than holy, these sheltered waters were a haven of peace. 1400 years ago, the Celtic St. Mun established a religious community on the shores of the Holy Loch, at a place known today as Kilmun. This is the holy ground beside the Holy Loch, which for generations has been a burial place for the great and the good, the poor and the wicked. The graveyard and mausoleum are the final resting place of many of the dukes and earls of Argyll. But I have to say that I'm less interested in the dead than in the music that may have accompanied them to the grave. Entering the old kirk, I follow the sound of heavenly music and find a man with the biggest organ I've ever seen in Argyll. This impressive instrument is powered in a very interesting and unique way. Frank Barclay reveals the inner mechanisms hidden downstairs. Wow, what? that is some machine. That is the original water engine put in in 1909 when the organ was installed. As far as we know, there are only two left in Scotland. It's an amazingly simple contraption. The water's filling the cylinder and forcing the piston up, and the piston is compressing these bellows, I can yes. see, up in the roof. Yes, that's right. The only problem with it is that it's much dearer to run than an electric fan. Which is why... Water is free, which, sure. <laughs> churches were originally charged an industrial water rate for using all this You're water. You're joking, really? Because these water engines were uh -huh. also used to give intermittent power as in running lifts in tall buildings uh -huh. in Edwardian and Victorian times. These were thrown out right. all over the country and only for very sort of esoteric reasons uh -huh. did a few remain. So it's amazing. And this this, is, this is one of them. Well, I think it's a magnificent machine and we can put it back in its box. Yeah. And may it continue. May it continue working for... its magic for years to come. Well, we hope so. <laughs>